save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Breath of the Wild for you today as always. Oops. Actually did not mean to do that. Wasted a little bit of durability on my Knight's Claymore. Uh, yeah, so. Ah, what's that? Random bird. So, guys, we are moving right along. We should be able to complete uh, the last shrine on the Great Plateau today. But in order to do that, we have to first trek back up the, the mountain over here, and we're going to drop down the cliff and hopefully land on top of the shrine. There was a couple enemies over here on the right. I don't know if they're... Yeah, they still are there. But that's alright. I'm not even going to mess with those guys. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, wherever you guys might be. I am so... So excited to be playing this. Alright. Yeah, those guys are all dead over there. The the barrels respawn, which is interesting, but... It's possible that I could lure those guys all the way to the barrels, but... I'm not thinking they're worth our time. I want to go straight to this shrine. And I'm pretty sure it is right over this cliff that looks onto Lake Hylia. I'm pretty sure that's Lake Hylia. And beyond Lake Hylia, there's like a jungle area over there. Very cool area. Man, I can't wait to explore all the different areas of Hyrule with you guys. Look at that tower way over there. Just to give us an idea of how far away that is, let's look at our map. Look at that's where the tower is. Way over there. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's just drop right on top of this shrine. I don't... Oh man, I might take damage if I drop right there, huh? Is there a little more forgiving area I can drop? Yeah, I think down here. Let's drop down here first. Oh yeah, look at that. How many... How am I, how am I doing... Ooh. No, we don't, we don't need fire arrows. How am I doing on shields? Oh, okay, I got a few. This one's almost broken. Guys, we did it. We made it to the final and fourth shrine of the Great Plateau. Finally. Feels good, man. And this one is where we learn stasis, I'm pretty sure. It has to be. Once we have all these powers, you know, the game becomes a little bit easier. So long as we're able to use them in creative ways that help make the game easier. Alright, let's go ahead and unlock the uh, rune real quick. The Owa Dying Shrine. Shika Slate Authenticated Distilling Rune. Ah, give it to me, baby! I will say that that whole liquid drop thing is really kind of weird. I think it would have made more sense if they actually use like a beam of light or something else. Like, I don't know. It is ancient technology, so what do I know? Alright, so stasis is really cool. Oh, it already is equipped. It basically allows me to freeze time. Like so. Look at that. You couldn't get more perfect of a freeze. Can also just go like that to unlock it early. It does have a long cooldown, but later on we can upgrade it and it becomes a little bit easier to manage. Another cool thing about stasis 
is that it absorbs energy. Like that. Let's grab the chest. Alright. Alright. Inventory's full. Let's just break that. <laughs> and there we go. Alright, I'm not gonna go down until I see another ball drop, because there we go. Let's freeze it right there. Uh no reason to go over there, I guess. Oh, sledgehammer! Epic! Twelve damage! Oh, that is going to come in so handy when I want to break, like, ore and stuff. I don't really need the leaf. Sledgehammer has a ton of durability, too. That's, like, the best part about it. You know what? I wonder if we can just not use the durability at all. Let's be smart. Oops. I forgot how you blew up the bug. That didn't do it? Maybe we gotta use two bombs. I'm sure you can move it without hitting it, right? Oh, it moved, but not nearly enough. All right, fine. I'll do it the way you want me to, game. I thought I was going to be creative, and I guess not. That should definitely be enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was an easy shrine. Some shrines are easy. And some shrines are, are very difficult. But most of them are kind of easy-ish, I would say. That's, that's one thing about this game. I do wish that more shrines were a little more difficult. Some of them are. You guys will see. We're going to have to do a lot of shrines. Now, one of the strategies that I can do if I want is... Instead of going to do the four divine beasts right away, I can... Instead, go for the Master Sword right away. Oh. All right. We're not going to get the Paraglider quite yet, but very soon. With this, you have now acquired all of the Spirit Orbs from the shrines on this plateau. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh, ho. Extraordinary. <laughs> that means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Of course, there's something else you want me to do before you give me this. Imagine an X on your map, with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. So mysterious. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines would cross. There, I will be waiting. And he just disappears like a ghost. That was, uh, a little bit interesting. So, he wants us to go to the Temple of Time... Ooh, that's a far drop. We're gonna have to warp. Let's just warp uh, to the Shrine of Resurrection real quick. Zoop. So, he's going to give us a breakdown of the story up until this point, kind of, and give us the main objective of the game. Which we already kind of know is to go to the castle and uh, free Zelda, rescue Zelda. But I think the old man will give us a little more detail on, on exactly what's going on. And, and he will finally give us the paraglider. Guys, you know what would be fun? Let's see if I can do a little shield surf. Eh? Shield surf down to the Temple of Time. Woo! Oh, oh, too bumpy. Too, oh, right, whoop, too bumpy there. Don't try, sh don't try surfing on stairs. It, it, it's kind of 
It's kind of hard on the back and legs. <laughs> oh man. I don't really care if I break this shield because I'm pretty sure it's only a four durability, but it does look really cool. Ah. Oh. So this is one of the areas I didn't really go in, so I'm just going to check it real quick. Now that we have weapons and stuff, I'm not so scared of these one, like, Vokoblins that are just kind of walking around over here. Oh, Alright, drumstick, yeah. Yeah, I figured there was nothing over here. Should we sneak strike him? I think we can. Oh man, I was so close. Oh my goodness. I am I am in over my heads. In over my I only have one head. Wow, I'm stupid. Drop the weapon. Where'd the weapon go? Oh, you didn't drop it. Oh, flurry rush? Goodbye. Got a fresh club out of it, I guess. Alright, up to the Temple of Time. We're gonna go all the way up top. No more messing around, guys. No more! I want the paraglider. Imagine what this place looked like before it was in ruins. Beautifully, like, done. People walking around. You know. Probably amazing. Oh, wait. Oh, I can pray now and get my first heart piece. No more arrows in these. Just gotta check. If I see a pot, you know, I gotta break it. Get our first heart piece, boys. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm pretty sure you need 13 hearts before you can get the Master Sword. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me, what is it that you desire? Heart container, stamina. I'm gonna go all heart containers until I can get the Master Sword. Mainly because it's master mode and I feel like having a weapon that regenerates and is pretty decent on attack would be extremely useful. I know that stamina is extremely useful too, but I'm just going to go straight for the heart containers. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Sorry to interrupt your praying, Link, but... uh. The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. <laughs> here I am. Get up here, quickly. Look, he's got more and more spirits going around him. They're really, uh, really hinting strongly at his spiritual being. The old man might not be alive after all. That is sad. He was literally the only person that I've ever come across in this land. That seems to be a deserted wasteland, you know? But fear not, there are other humans that are still alive besides this guy. Here we are, guys. We're at the top. Not quite as, as high as uh, the top of Mount Hylia when we were up, up top, but check that out, guys. That's the, uh, the big bird divine beast. I forget what his name is, but eventually we will go there. Pretty crazy. You might even be able to see the divine beast on the mountain. Yep. See that? That giant lizard thing crawling on the mountain. You can barely see it moving, but we're going to go there too, eventually. You can do the Divine Beast in any order that you want too, so I'm not sure which order I'm going to do it in. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was 
the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. Man, that sucks to be you. You are literally the last king that made the entire kingdom go to ruin. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Did you just call my memory fragile? Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Hit me with it, old man. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics the Divine Beasts were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The Princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the Champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Oh, I see you dug out all this ancient technology. I'll take those. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely wounded and lapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. I think it rests with both of us, Princess. That princess was my own daughter. Of course. My dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. Oh, snap. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. <coughs> I had failed. And then 
You are taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I mean, in I master mode. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shiga slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. That's one way to go. Hmm. Go on. Here is the paraglider, just as I promised. Oh, oh man, we finally got it. Thank you, sir. Even though you swindled me into doing a lot more than I really wanted to to get it. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliff surrounding this area. Just don't forget to open it before you jump off. And I think that's it. <laughs> I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. I thought he was going to say my daughter. Hey, let's see what else we got. Ooh, nice. One thing that I do wish that they did in uh, this game was if you open a chest and your inventory is full, it should give you an option to just swap out something for whatever's in the chest without you having to go drop it, then open the chest again. You know what I mean? Seems like a small oversight. Alright, so we got the uh, paraglider. Now, before we completely leave the Great Plateau, it does want us to go that way. There's some areas that we have yet to look at. So let's look at the hero's path. This will show us everywhere that I've actually traveled. So as you can see, actually, let's just watch it real quick. I came out, went to the Temple of Time, went over to the tower, went and did the first shrine, warped back to the tower, went and did the second shrine, came back, finished that skull camp, went up to the uh, old man's house, then we started exploring into the cold areas right here, went all the way up the mountain, got the uh, doublet, died in that stupid pond. <laughs> Did the third uh, shrine, then we came, did the fourth shrine, warped back, and we are back where we are now. So, as you can see, we completely missed uh, exploring the Forest of Spirits in Hopper Pond. So, I just want to go check that place out and see what's over there. So, it looks like we need to travel north-northwest. So, let's go. Whee! Oh, man, this is so great! We can fully travel now. Taking a screenshot of our first travel on the paraglider. Beautiful sunset. I'm gonna kill this guy just because I want uh, more monster parts, I guess. Yeah. 
Wait, I threw it at him and it didn't even kill him? Oh man, I have no weapon. See, now I don't mind if he jumps down because I can just do this. Alright. I actually need to be very careful in this forest because I have no idea what's in here because this is master mode. One trick I did learn is you can easily spot things you can pick up if you use stasis. See, there's something up in that tree right there. Let's go check it out. The boar running around is freaking me out. Alright, so we got some bird eggs. Can eat those. Yum yum. Some tree nuts. This would be a good place to go hunting as well, but I kind of want to save my arrows for now. Man, I do get a frame rate drop. Frame rate drop whenever I do that. I imagine there's got to be some secrets here somewhere so oh, let's climb up this oddly stru shaped structure probably a Korok seed up here at least oh yeah we're gonna meet Hestu uh, pretty quick It's actually a cooking place and some fireflies. Let's grab the fireflies if I can. A couple of those. Another one over here. All right. I could do some cooking. Oh, look at this. We got arrows, a traveler's bow, which actually I think the traveler's bow is slightly better than a boko bow. Yeah, one damage more. Guess I'll take the torch. We could light a fire here, but... Oh, five more arrows. Hylian Shroom. Alright. Definitely worth exploring. Some more boars over there. I see an enemy uh, camp. But it looks like... Okay, there's one enemy. And there's a chest. I'm only going to kill the boar if I can get close enough to hit him with my melee weapon. I remember doing this part in uh, the Champion's Ballad. Trying to follow this Korok. Leave me alone, guys. Easy. We already got four, baby. Some more fireflies. We are not in a rush, man. We are just looting up this forest for everything it's worth. Alright, you know what? No! Oh, I just injured him. I thought that would be a headshot, but I guess not. Big open clearing. That looks kind of scary to me. Also a beehive right there. Do I even want to mess with that? I'm, I'm going to say no. I haven't forgotten about that monster outpost with the chest. Ooh. What is that? Blue nightshade, very nice. All right, let's let's check out this outpost. The bats are going to be annoying, so I hear something like
Alright. There's one guy there. Is that it? Oh, one over there. And then and then the scout. We'll go get those arrows in a second. I want to kill these guys first by sneaking up. Very quietly. Aww, he's kind of cute. But, he must die. Man, when you can just one hit these guys, it makes it pretty easy. Oh, that was the easiest monster camp we've ever done. And we get a chest. Uh, but... But, ooh, and a shield? Five arrows, six arrows. I did shoot a couple arrows over here and missed that dude. Alright, let's see what the chest is. An opal. Alright, worth. Definitely worth. Oh, man. Let's see. We still haven't really explored over by a hopper pond, so I'm going to start making my way that way. But before that, guys, I'm going to check up on this tree. And unfortunately, the episode is already 30 minutes. We spent so much time on the cutscene where the, where the old man was telling us about the history. We didn't even get to play that much, but we did get the paraglider. And now we are free to do anything we please, or go anywhere, for the most part. I'm gonna creep on over here. So many su uh, sunset fireflies. I have a feeling in that giant clearing, there's gonna be like... Oh, what is that? Oh, another camp. Alright, guys. We're gonna finish out uh, clearing out this forest. What is this forest called? Forest of Spirits. We're going to finish clearing out the Forest of Spirits in the next episode, guys. I cannot wait. I hope you guys enjoy the series. If you do, please go ahead and drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. <laughs> I just said Brawlhalla. Be sure to subscribe for more Breath of the Wild content. And as always, guys, this is Ocean Sword. Take it easy.